This is where it all began. Throughout my life, throughout my short career, I've done nothing but hard work to get to the point where I'm at today. I've had to fight and claw my way to the top. It all started with playing for Barcelona and then getting loaned out to Birmingham City, where I then spent a year and developed my skills, developed my game, eventually returning Barcelona, but then getting sold to the club where I'm at now, Arsenal. Competing one season in the Premier League, winning the Premier League, and then after that, getting called up to play for my home country, Spain. We're now in the World Cup Final. This is something that I've been waiting for for my entire life. But now that the moment's here, I just don't know if I can do it. I find myself on game day leaving the stadium, driving away what's on my mind. Losing in the Champions League Finals with Arsenal was one of the worst experiences of my life. And if we end up losing this World Cup game, I don't know if I can take it. I don't know if I'd be able to handle the pressure, so I've just decided to walk away. Rumors swirling about that Alex Roberto will not be starting Alex in the World Roberto Cup final. Alex Roberto has not showed up to the dressing room. He will not be competing Where in is this Alex? final. That is the question everyone wants to know. Spain Where stand is Alex no Roberto? chance against France without Alex Roberto. It's over. He you might as well give France the championship. Final. No Alex Roberto. Spain stand no chance. After a lot of contemplating, a lot of thinking, I've made my return. Losing the Champions League Finals may have been tough, but I can't let that hold me back. My country needs me. My teammates need me. The fans need me. I must compete in this final. Nothing can stop me. Nothing can hold me back. We have to beat France. It's the only option. Final is here. It's Spain against France, the 2018 World Cup here in Russia. Moments away, I'm back. I'm in the starting 11. The game is ready to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Everything we've done in the group stage and in the knockout rounds up until this point comes down to one final game. It's do or die, win or lose. We can't afford to lose. We've came this far. There is no way we are going to let anyone stand in our way. The fans are here, ready to go. Hopefully by the end of this match, that trophy will be ours. Players like Paul Pogba, Griezmann, Payet, they all stand in our way, boys. We are about to figure out who will be champions of the world here in 2018. Game is underway, and the first chance is going to fall to France. Griezmann, he has a go, but David De Gea makes an absolutely fantastic save, parrying that one out of play. France looking strong from the very beginning. Here, another go, another chance for France. Can they take the lead? Not this time. David De Gea, another incredible save. And on the third chance of the game, I guess you can say third time is the charm. France 
take the lead. It's none other than Paul Pogba with that celebration. He gives France the early lead in the World Cup. It's looking like we are going to be playing from behind in this one. What a strike. It may have taken a deflection, but what power on that one. Number six, Pogba. He breaks this thing wide open. One nil is the scoreline. It's looking like we're gonna need a comeback if we wanna win this one straight after. We finally got our heads together. We started to put some chances together, but once again, France were dominating. Another go at goal for them. Pogba nearly makes it 2-0. Had he did that, the game would have been all but over. Another great chance right here, but the ball falls straight to Hugo Lloris. We're getting few opportunities, and the opportunities we're getting aren't good. 45th minute, perhaps our best of the game, a skill move from myself. I go for the shot, but it goes just wide right there. I tried to go across the net, and I just couldn't do it. The shot went wide. Hugo Lloris looked to have that one covered, and with that, it's going to be the end of the first half. France have the lead, and if things hold, they will be champions of the world. We can't let this happen. One half down. One more half to go. And as we go straight into the second half, 45 minutes remain. We'd have the first chance of this half. I give the ball off to our striker, Diego Costa. He goes for goal, but once again, Hugo Lloris making another big time save for France. Even more chances for them. If they go ahead 2-0, like I said, the game will be all but over. Morgan Schneiderlin has a go, but what a block from one of our defenders. Another chance from the ensuing corner. The shot from the head of Laporte goes just wide. 68th minutes. What a chance it was, but what a miss. After this, another opportunity for us. I get a great through ball played in. Will this be the equalizer? And there it is, we've done it late on into the game. We grab an equalizer, whether it was deserved or not, that is the question that remains to be answered. France have clearly been dominating this game. Luckily though, we grab a goal. It is all tied up with 80 minutes left. A few substitutions here were made. Pogba leaves the game surprisingly, and we bring in Morata for the striker, Diego Costa. A few big moves being made. Here in the 87th minute, another great chance. Can I win it for Spain? No, no I can't. I look to be through on goal and I missed the opportunity. 1v1 with Hugo Lloris. I tried the finesse shot. That was my chance to become a hero for my country and I wasted it. We're going into extra time. This isn't what I hoped. This looks to be a repeat of the Champions League final. Last time in the Champions League final, of course, we went into extra time. We finished level there. We went into penalties and we lost. If the same happens here, I'll be devastated. Here we go. Straight in to extra time. We need a goal. We'll settle for nothing less than that. And starting off this period in extra time, we would have the first chance in the 102nd minute. We look to be through on goal, but right here, a terrible pass from my teammate. He gives it up and the ball is cleared away for France. A chance for them to go on, grab the lead here in extra time, but they waste the chance as well. Finally, a few minutes later in the second half of extra time, the ball falls to me. This is it. I mean that, take a bow. You have been immense. If anyone ever doubted your value to your side, 
You have just blown it away. You're fighting against everything. And you pop up with this. Absolutely top draw. Magnificent. I did it. Boys, I did it. We're, we're champions. The game winning goal in a game that I wasn't even supposed to take part in. I come up big for my country, for my teammates, for the fans. We're World Cup champions at only the age of 21 years old. I have done something that even some of the greatest players of all time have never done. I am a World Cup champion. Spain on top once again. This is one of the best moments of my life. We're champions. I'm a champion. The game-winning goal. There's no better feeling than this right here, right now. After winning the World Cup, the good news just continues. Finding out that I've also won the Golden Boot with nine goals, a sensational performance for me in this World Cup. I honestly can't believe it. We're champions, but after this, it was a long flight back to England. I now have another decision to make. After winning the World Cup, we're returning to Arsenal, or are we? I now have a meeting with the manager, Arsene Wenger. He's laid out my options. There's only a few. The first option is simple. Return back to Arsenal and try to win the Champions League for my club. Even though we won the Premier League, we failed in the EFL Cup, the FA Cup, also the Champions League. Will I return and win that? The second option is this. Manchester City have offered me a contract where I will be making substantially more money, over $400,000 to be exact. Do I leave Arsenal for the money and join Man City or stay at this club here in London? The choice is yours. Straw poll is down below in the description. Can we smash 2,000 likes for this episode? Boys, that would be extremely appreciated. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Each and every one of you who watched, I, I truly thank you. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you guys for another upload later. Peace.